Hey there, it's Christian from Seven Gamer Network, and uh, I'm a long time Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes player, uh, as in a couple of years. Um, and, uh, and recently I discovered uh, a new mobile game, and I'm actually going to do a review for it. So, this is uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, and there's three things about this game that um, really has, has excited me about it. Uh, and, and I'll go through those and maybe they'll give you a feel as to perhaps whether you want to make the switch to this perhaps being uh, your mobile game of choice. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about with this game uh, is the characters. So um, as I go into my um, uh, characters list here or champions list here, this is um, similar to Galaxy of Heroes and, and, and other games of its ilk. It's a, it's a character collector, it's a character builder. Um, and um, so there's a lot of characters in this game. Now if I actually show you, rather than my own characters, I'll go to the main index. Uh, and I'll show you here, look, you can see that there are a number of factions in the game. Uh, there's 15 currently, uh, three at the bottom here I haven't even unlocked. Just to let you know, I've played this game for an, uh, a week now. Um, and what you'll see is that in each of these factions, look, you've got a large number of characters, anywhere from 20-something to even 40-something with the Sacred Order. And these characters, um, well... There's something for everyone when it comes to fantasy tastes. So, uh, and what I'm going to do, I'll just showcase a couple of them so you can have have a little look. Now, with each of these char uh, with each of these factions, they will have um, legendary, epic characters, rare characters, uncommon, uh, and common. Although not all the factions have common characters, um, and their relative power more or less increases with their level of rarity. Um, but just have a look at some of these characters. Uh, so, for instance, this is a Lord Champfort. Um, so this is one of the uh, legendary characters from the Banner Lords. So they are sort of a classic um, you know, Bretonian knights, if you are into sort of Games Workshops, Warhammer World, that sort of thing. Um, but there is a, an astonishing array of really very beautiful models. Some of them um, are, are, are really... Uh, extraordinary um, and, and one of the things that I, I really like about them is that there is glorious variety so uh, the banner lords are kind of what you expect and of course at the, at the bottom end you know you're getting your sort of your bog standard uh, pikeman look uh, so that's your, your your common character um, but then let's just have a look at some of these other factions because this really is where that where probably my main thing I'm most excited about with this game um, uh, if you're like me, who love all the sort of gribbly, evil, dark things, um, then there's not just shiny knights in this. Uh, there are some fantastic looking beasties to uh, collect here as well. Uh, so you've got uh, sort of necromantic mages like Scar Torsis or Barel Khazar. Um, I mean, the, uh, you, this is sort of Nephilim, you know, vampiresque uh, type characters. Um, and... One of the, the other things that I uh, really, really like about this game is the fact that you can play any of these characters with any of these other characters. Um, and, and just so you uh, can have a, a bit of an appreciation of the astonishing variety of, of um, synergies that are available to be explored in this game, I'll just have a look at this. So we've got, you know, as an, as an example of a skill, and this is on the Grinner, um, you can see here that they have got straightforward attacks, but then will often have some sort of effect that's going to go off with them. And he's got three skills here. Um, there is all your classic um, straightforward attacks. There's buffs. There's debuffs. There's passive abilities going on. There's leadership abilities, or um, well, auras as they call them in this. Uh, multiple people can have auras going on in a team. Um, and so there appears to me to be an extraordinary variety of uh, not only just these beautiful looking sort of characters and models, but there also seems to be you know, a massive um, variety of uh, skills and synergies to be uh, explored amongst all of these uh, different characters. Uh, let me just show you a couple more from some, some of the others. So you've got the Skinwalkers. These are more... Um, 
uh, sort of beast men uh, or, or pigs and all, all that kind of uh, those kind of characters. So, and you can see here, I mean, there's a lot of variety on on and, and detail in some of these um, characters. And of course, I'm playing it on on blue stacks on the PC, so you you know um, on the phone it, it looks like there's even more detail going on. So. Uh, some really big props. Let me show you perhaps some show the high elves if you like the sort of shiny clean stuff. Um, and look at these guys, they've got uh, some beautiful armor sets going on. Look at that really um, beautiful use of lighting and shading on these characters. Um, some of them have got some really extraordinary weaponry going on, some great armor sets. Um, so I, I really think this is, and when it comes to looking at the characters, there is um, there's something for everybody. You've got orcs, you've got undead knights, you've got uh, demon spawn type stuff. Uh, I mean, check out some of these characters, and they're extraordinary looking. I mean, look at that the size of that hammer. Uh, the dude's on fire. Um, so I mean, how how you can not think some of these are cool with his stigmata skill or his falling from grace skill? Uh, you know, th there is. Uh, so these characters really are, I think they've hit hit the ball out of the park on this one. And there is just, uh, after, after playing for a week, there is just an, a, a gobsmacking amount of variety and synergies to explore with all of these skills. Um, but enough about characters, let's talk about some of the battles in the game. When it comes to the battles, uh, you've got a nice big battle button down here and I'll take you to this screen. Um, and you've got your kind of classic uh, campaign. Um, uh, so these are more your sort of uh, standard leveling up type uh, missions. Um, and then you've got dungeons, which are more your sort of specialist, limited time availability uh, type missions. And you've got arena, so your PvP battling. I'll show you campaign first. Well, you've got this quite quite nice map along the um, that you could sort of make your way along here. You'll be uh, needing to complete this place, Kerok Castle, before you move on to the next one. And when you uh, click on these uh, different locations, it brings up a number of stages. Now, uh, this, the broad idea of this is that when you battle on a stage, you're either going to get yourself, uh, in terms of rewards, you're going to get yourself a piece of equipment. Um, so a piece of equipment is linked to a particular stage. So here, look, you can see on stage one, you're gonna get yourself from the life set of artifacts, you know, boosting the life of on, on your, your your life stat of your character, your health. Um, you got weapon and then uh, helmet if you're going on to, if you're doing stage two and so on. And then also here, look, you can see, these are some of the characters that may well be uh, dropped from there because you're gonna be fighting against them. So these are the characters that could drop that you could end up adding to your collection. Uh, now, the battles themselves, um, they're really lovely. I'll go on to one that's a sort of slightly higher level. Um, so we've got a, a little bit of a, of a battling to do. Uh, let's, let's, let's go for one of the boss ones. This is uh, the final um, stage on, on this one. And it takes you to the character select screen um, and you'll be able to select from your roster of characters. Um, they do have this here, which is a sort of an elemental damage type thing. Um, slightly weird and that it's not how you'd normally expect. Um, I.e. red damages blue more, blue damages green more, and green damages red more, which is kind of topsy-turvy to how we're used to it in, in these gaming worlds. Um, but it's a straightforward system and, and you'll see it uh, in action as we go into this now. Um, it's generally quite a fast loading game, fast playing game. Uh, the, the one major drawback that I've seen at the moment um, is that there isn't a sim option. Um, so if you're going to grind through missions, um, although having said that, they're pretty quick. You, know, you can normally grind through them in 10 to 15 seconds on the real low level ones. And so that's more of a just a, a auto run set off and just press the button now and again. Um, okay, so you'll come to a screen like this, you'll see you've got your abilities down here, and you've got these arrows bouncing up and down. Um, and that's linked to the elemental damage thing I mentioned earlier on. So with yellow, they're all sort of neutral. Now my character is quite powerful, so I'm going to, you can click on here and you can see um, what your abilities are. I'm going to unleash an acid rain on these guys, 
take them all out in one go. Uh, and then we'll have a, a little bit of an attack from uh, these uh, other characters. Again, I'm playing on a slightly lower level than these, but just so you can see some of these animations, I'll slow it down. Like many of these games, you can play it on a little bit of a faster level. Um, and here we'll go with our Hellfang attack. And you can see it's got all the standard information that's going on above it. Here you can see you know, resisted and how much damage you're doing and all that sort of thing. You'll see here you've got these uh, green arrows. That's saying that this is a really good elemental matchup. So here my wretch is probably going to be able to do yeah, enough damage to take that guy out. And maybe my uh, character here might be able to take this guy out pretty close to it, okay? But again, he's got a favourable matchup in terms of that, uh, in terms of that damage. And you can see there's lots of great buff effects going on here. You can see now that these guys they've got the counter attack ability and they've also got some defence up on them. I'm just going to drop these with my uh, high level leader character. And this is quite nice. Look, we've got sort of a little mini boss here. Um, sort of a dragon style character. Um, again, we'll be able to drop him fairly quickly. So I'll stick it onto auto and we'll watch some of these uh, attacks. So here you can see there's, there's poison effects going off. There's, uh, so there's damage over time. There's, there's healing over time. You can see I've been, we've got uh, some bombs have landed on here. So those are gonna obviously explode over time. In fact, I think that's actually a poison uh, rather than a, a bomb. So that's just marking that debuff. Um, but at any point you can click info and have a quick look and see exactly what's going on, which is really nice. Okay, I've got it on auto, so of course it's sort of going on in the background, but it's a really nice way of just catching up with the game state. If you're like, oh, what have I got going on? Um, you know, what's he suffering from? Why is his health going down? All that sort of thing. And there we go, we've defeated the boss. And now we'll get our rewards. So you'll see that um, from that one, when it's a boss, you can get any piece of equipment dropping off the menu, uh, one of the six slots that are available. You'll also get your standard cash and some um, increase in experience. As you can see here, my Hellfang picked some up there. So I think one of the, one of the things I love about this game is it is very beautiful. They've done a really great job with, with, with the art and, and design of the game. I'm also going to show you one other type of battle, uh, which is the uh, dungeons, which is more your um, uh, the sort of time limited ones. So you can see here, look, opens this Thursday, opens on a Wednesday. So you can only have limited access to these ones, but they've got some really great, uh, again, boss feel type um, end battle sections. Um, I know I just showed you one in terms of the sort of the campaign one, uh, but these ones are perhaps just a. A, a little more impressive now I you know I've unlocked up to stage six here look on this but you can see it goes up to stage 15 and the level is 165 uh, the one I'm battling at is 22 I've been playing for a week I've been playing quite solidly so there's plenty of scope for this game for a really nice long uh, you know, grind, build, like it's been if you're a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes player over a really nice long time. You actually get to take five characters when you do a dungeon battle. So let's go in and uh, and have a little look at this. Let me just put some um, sound on for you guys to enjoy because it's got some quite nice sound that, uh, that accompanies this. Okay, so. Again, fairly straightforward uh, battling here. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave it on the uh, on the auto for now for this until because I just wanted to get you to um, have a look at this sort of slightly more boss type battle that's going on at the end here with a much bigger um, uh, health bar and there's a few more sort of effects going on and uh, I think you'll agree this is a great looking mob look at some of the animations you've got going on here there's some really nice animations I'll slow it down just for a couple of attacks you can see See the wretch did his grey fire attack there, which can actually set them on fire. And again, you've got really nice um, effects when these are going off. So here we can see some poisons landing. He's just done a quake on us. Lots of effects going off, but again, you can always check it with your info button. They've done a great job of capturing that feel of, of fighting a, you know, um, a, a big raid mob, I think, in this. I'm just going to put it onto the times two. So we push towards the end. And you can see here, if, if I had been uh, running this at full times two speed, we've had 110, 112 elapse, 
So it'll probably take about 130, 140 to, to do this battle. That just means you're just hitting the go again button every minute or two for these kind of things. Slightly different rewards when it comes to doing those ones. You're getting these um, uh, potions and you're going to use these to ascend your characters which is not where you're adding new ranks to them and the ranks are represented by stars in this game but the ascending is when you essentially turn one of those stars purple uh, and ascending a character can also unlock more skills or further elements of a character's skills so getting these kind of things um, the, the development as you expect in the hero collector game of the characters is really fantastic it's, it's really deep uh, there's lots to it and you, know, you really will have to select what you're going to go after. This is going to be a game uh, where if you've got your classic Pokemon, got to collect them all, um, then that's going to be really, really tough. In terms of the sort of pay to win element of the game, um, so um, have a look at the shop. Um, they do quite a good, uh, they're pretty good at chucking stuff at you. There's lots of free stuff that's been coming my way. Um, lots of uh, shards, which is where you can get uh, new character drops from. Um, and like, overall, the prices are fairly standard for what, you, what you'd expect. Um, but I will say that the um, other big area of the game that I've really enjoyed after characters and after those battles um, has actually just been the experience. If you look here, you can see that my energy is 382 out of 85. Um, and each battle tends to be somewhere between about 4 and 8 energy. In the week of playing, I have not come even close to running out of energy. There are a stack load of missions that you can keep working your way through. A lot of them will give you energy rewards. Um, there are quests that you can work through, so you, you, you know, your dailies, your weeklies and so on. A lot of these will give you quest, uh, will give you energy rewards as well, um, and so they they really allow you to play for a really good long time. Now, of course, many hero collectors do that early days, um, but it's been a week now, and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. So I'll be really interested to see exactly how long it does last until I am needing to upgrade that energy. But so far, the experience. The experience has been excellent. I mean, this is, it's been really uh, very addictive getting your characters. Um, and of course, they're not only, they're different rarities. So you can see, you know, you've got an uncommon character here. You go right down to um, common characters. So I've got I'm sure to have a few common characters somewhere uh, down here. Uh, up to rares. I mean, that's all I've got. I've not had any uh, epics or legendaries yet. Um, but they've got a, a brilliant system whereby if you get duplicates of any characters you can actually sacrifice um, you, you can sacrifice any character to another character to sort of boost up the experience level of the character that you sacrificed them to uh, you even can use it um, to upgrade their rank so you can take a, a character who is you know, three stars and, and, and take them to four stars by sacrificing three other three stars to get them up to four stars. So it's a very clever system of using the characters that you get that you perhaps don't want to be able to boost up the ones that you do want. Um, so even if you, uh, you know, are opening packs or, or um, you know, you're grinding areas and, and getting all these shards and able to open characters, and then you realise, oh, I don't want them, it's it's not all that disappointing because there's still lots of usage for them. Uh, and one of the things that I think that I've really enjoyed about this as well is that it's it's got that MMORPG feel to um, you know, uh, trying to grind somewhere specific, um, you know, going to one of these places here, you know, and trying to find a, um, I don't know, a three-star helmet, say, for instance, um, and, you know, they they don't drop as frequently, and so actually, you know, just running that stage over and over, you know, sometimes getting s some of these uh, characters to drop um, until you get your three-star helmet that, that, you, that you want. Now, again, for some of you, that'll be a big turn-off. For some of us, you know, that's the sort of... Um, the, the the investment we put in 
<coughs> to enjoy the return, the satisfaction of getting that item, getting that character after the long grind. So there we have it. Um, uh, this is a game that's got it's got great characters, it's got great battles, it's got all the synergy and all the exploring, putting different teams together that you'd expect. It's got all the different ways in which you can battle with campaigns, with dungeons, and with uh, PvP battling, uh, and it's got all of these fantastic characters, um, all all wrapped up <coughs> in a in a very fun experience that's been uh, nothing too painful plenty of questions we all have questions when we start playing a new game um, but this has been one of the most enjoyable character collecting grindy sort of games uh, that I've experienced and let's face it there's quite a few out on the market now but this has been definitely uh, one of my favorites now how long this how long this is gonna last for it's always of course the real test isn't it with these games to try and find out well which of the games that are really going to have uh, that staying power. Star Wars Galaxies does because we love it. It's such a fantastic game um, and so many others like it. Um, but this one seems to me to be uh, like it's going to be the real deal. Like it'll be around to stay for a while. It is relatively new as I post this in March 2019 um, and seems to have a really uh, large number of people playing it. After showing it to a few of my friends, they've all fallen in love with it and, and, and we're all playing it uh, madly together. So anyway, this is Raid Shadow Legends and uh, if you give it a go, I really hope you enjoy it. Until next time, enjoy your gaming.